Wire Lady TV every Wednesday, uh, usually at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time, but we still have two more weeks of live Wires for the Win. So I'll be going live after that show, which airs at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Time every Wednesday. Congratulations to Jade for being the winner this week on Live Wires for the Win and Bernice for being the viewer's choice. So today I'm going to do a quick live stream making wire cowboy hats for a friend of mine. Probably only be on for about half an hour, but uh, it'll be short and sweet. So I'm going to flip the screen and say hello to everybody. So just uh, I'm going to just put my sketches on the table so you guys can see. And I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I can see what you guys can see. There we go. And see your comments. So let me just hop over to YouTube and find the video. And I do not see the live stream. Let me just keep looking, refresh my page. Ooh, that's strange. Live. There. There we go. Oh, they put it in a different section. Awesome. So now, uh, hi, Amber. How are you? Hi, Carrie. Hi, Ellen. Nice. So let me know if you guys watch Live Wires for the Win. And um, that was super fun. The, the episodes are getting shorter and shorter because we only, today there were only five people and then next week there'll only be uh, four people. That'll be the semifinal next week. So, hi, Lori. Uh, oh, very fun. Uh, Lori uses some of my tutorials for her middle school jewelry class. I love that. I used to teach jewelry making at the, um, at the uh, uh, elementary school and high schools, actually. Hi, Mary. How are you? Mary or Marie, uh, if you're French. So, let's get some tools going. I'm just going to do some simple cowboy hats. These are my, uh, um, what do you call them, Halloween ones. And I have some here, but also like this very simple one. So let's just try a few designs and away we go. I'll start with 20 gauge wire. I always like to warm up with the 20 gauge wire. Here we have some tarnish resistant brass. I'm gonna make sure I'm on screen. Hi, Robin. I'm going to bring the computer closer because otherwise I keep looking away. Hi, Mirta. And there we go. So let me have a sip of water and make some cowboy hats. And like I said, this will be a quick a quick live stream because I'm actually being interviewed for a podcast at three o'clock. So I have to get ready for that. And that was a podcast through the Hobby School. Uh, you guys probably know I had a tutorial in the Hobby School Summit and they're just gonna interview me after this. So that's exciting. And I will put a link to that when it's up and running. I'm not sure if it's video or audio, but it should be fun. So let's just do a very simple one first, sort of like an infinity sign hat. So I'm just gonna take this, this is the design, and I'm just gonna go for it. And let me just see if I have some larger pliers here. So we're just gonna start with some, just it looks like just the top of the hat and then a kind of infinity sign. So we're just gonna make an infinity sign around here and then one, this might or might not work out. It might have to give it more shape actually, but we're just gonna see. So if we do that, I think we're definitely gonna have to give it a little more shape. I don't want it to be too, I don't want it to be too, ooh, something's going crackle. What is that? Oh no, it's okay. I thought something electrical was making noise, but I think we're okay. So now let me just curve this out a little bit because sometimes it's better if it has a little bit more curve to it. Should have done that before I did the other loop. So we're just gonna curve that one a bit and curve this one a bit. The brass is a little stiffer than some of the other wires, but not too bad. So if we just do this kind of thing, let me just figure out what I did here. So, um, you know what, I'm gonna stop. I'm actually gonna start at the top, I think. I'm gonna just pull this back. I'm just gonna redo this. I'm gonna follow my sketch exactly how I did it. So I started here. Let's just start, let's just do it that way. So if we do the top of the hat here and here, I have done cowboy hats before, but I forget how I did it. So this would be like the top of the hat here. I'm gonna bring my sketch over here and 
bring this one down and then take this and bend that at a bit of an angle, kind of down like that. And I'm going to, if you want the angle sharper, just get your flat pliers in there and push it a little bit. So we're going to bring that here. And then we want to make sure this is somewhat curved down. And where we want the other brim of the hat, we're just going to take this and bring it around here. So we could give it more shape if we want, or just leave it fairly simple. So we're going to bring this one down and then curve that one out. I'm going to curve that one out there. So it's kind of cool, very, very simplified. And if you need the brim bigger, just bring that out a little bit more. Bring that more. And then if you want, if you do want the brim not so curved, give it a little, maybe a little bit of a point. You can try that too. If you don't like the way it looks like really curved like that, you could give it a bit more of a point. Might be a little bit more realistic. We're gonna bring that one down here. So it's not really like an infinity sign anymore, but it maybe looks more like a hat. And then this one, we're just gonna either clip it or we're gonna bend it in there. So if you wanna bend it in there, let's do the other side first. So we're gonna bring this one around here and to about the other side. And do we want it at the front or back? Probably at the back. So we're gonna bring this one around here. Super simple and like I said, you can clip them or you can attach them. And if you want this to be earrings, I would do a loop at the top to make earrings. So I will just attach it just for the sake of seeing how it's going to look. So we're gonna bend that, bend that at an angle. This, this wire is super long so we can clip it. Hi Mo Mohadish, how are you? I'm from Canada. There we go. And we're gonna take this and bring this one in here. Yeah, for you, those of you that don't know, I am from Montreal, Canada, and I have lived in Montreal for quite a few years. I'm from Ottawa, which is the nation's capital, but I have lived in Montreal for quite a few years. So now we're just gonna, this one got a little bent out of place. We're gonna bend it back a bit more. That's the hard part when you try to thread a wire through a small space, it can get a little bit kinked. So that's that idea. And then I would just finish it off. In theory, you could also do some uh, beads across there if you wanted as well. You could definitely do some beads. I'm just going to like see if you brought this one across, you could possibly do some beads, but it's going to get a little messy and tight. So I'm just going to give this a clip. Uh, Michigan, cool. I send packages to Michigan sometimes. I get to know some of the states because I... I sell on Etsy and I send a lot of packages out to the States. So um, that's, uh, that's fun. And actually what my first job, I worked as a secretary in a philately company, a philatelist, a uh, stamp collector. And I used to have to type out addresses in the States by hand on, well, on an electric type typewriter. Cause in those days there was no computers. And so I got to know the abbreviations for some of the states quite well, which was really cool. And then now I have my own business, so I use that knowledge. So here's the hat. That side looks good. This side's a little iffy. I just have to get that to sit down in place a little bit better. So I'm gonna bring that one down a bit more. And I am going to pinch that so it'll hold into that corner because sometimes you just have to give things a little bit of a pinch so they'll actually hold. So that's that's cool. Very simple cowboy hat. The design is there uh, and you can adjust the shape as you want. So that's really cool. So there's first hat. So fun. Thank you. Happy to meet you too. So now let's go ahead and do this design, which is a little bit maybe more complicated. We're gonna see. So let me get some 20 gauge wire because I do want to make one a little bit bigger. So I have some 18, no, did I say 20? I meant 18. So let's get some 18 gauge wire. Cute hat, thank you. So now about maybe 15 to 18 inches. Probably 15 is plenty. I really, I always cut my wire, usually cut my wire too long. So we're just going to get this one. And I 
actually might end up making this with 16 gauge wire because I want it to be a keychain. So we're gonna see, and there's the sun coming in my window. So if I move away, I wonder if I move away, it's gonna be better. Sorry, I'm just gonna see if I can get away from that sun a little bit. Is that gonna work? I don't know if that makes any difference whatsoever. So I'm gonna close the curtain because I think that might be better. We're gonna see. That might not be any better, actually. No, I think that's not gonna be any better. So let me open this again. We're gonna see. So let's go ahead with this. So let me figure out how that one was done. I did, see I do these sketches and then I can't figure out what I did. So that goes there. That's the same as what I did before. That's pretty well the same. So let me just see, and this one finishes in the middle. Those ones finish more like the other ones. So let's try one that finishes at the top to do a loop at the top. And I'm going to remove this. And cowboy music, good idea. So let's take this, this will be sort of the loop at the top. We're gonna take this one kind of up here. And I don't need it pronounce too much. So we're going to take this one, bring it down. It should be on a bit of a curve as well, I think. And then this seems to have to be on a right angle. So we're going to bend that one on a right angle and just compare it to the sketch. I could have actually followed this. It might have been easier to actually follow the sketch. And then we're just going to bring it around. It's going to be a little bit smaller. I don't need it to be that big but you can also kind of do this by hand. So we're gonna bring this one up and that one kind of down. Uh, that's gonna go sort of to one side of the hat. Let me just see. Might need to bring that one out a little bit more. We're gonna see. This, as always, I always tell people that these live streams just give you the idea and then you can run with it and do your own things so if you need to tweak the design or what have you like this I think it's not wide enough so I'm going to bring it out a little bit more just a little bit and then take this here bring that one down and this will come around like sort of the brim of the hat over to here mm, it's pretty good and then up here we're going to take this and bring this one looks like it comes around to the back so I'm not sure if this line should cover that line or overlap it. I hadn't thought that far in advance, but it looks like if we do something like this, it's interesting. Maybe bring this one in a little bit more. This end might not be wide enough, but it just this is just to get the idea. And then it looks like we're gonna have to bring this up on a bit of an angle. And this one out this way. This is just like a little thing that looks like this little dupe in the um, in the hat. Now, whether that's necessary or not, it looks kind of funny in the sketch. So I'm not 100% sure I want to do that. So I might just skip that and then bring this one down here. Yeah, I think it looks sort of funny, so I might skip that. Bring this one down here, bring this one across, and then it looks a little bit more like a hat. This could have definitely been wider, but this gives you the idea. So we're going to take this, start the curve around here, and then you could even stick beads on it if you like. So let's just give that a good little tug and Bernice is here, your internet froze. Oh no, that's not good. There we go, so we're gonna do this and I am going to get some beads. So these are some of my favorite beads and we can put a few little beads on there. Maybe some more ambery colors. Oh good, that's gonna fit. Oh, sometimes I'm not sure if my beads are gonna fit on there and just to see what sort of Here's some random ones. Here's like a, it's a little bit big, that one. This might not fit. Oh, that fits, but it's a little bit long, maybe. 
that's not great. And what else do we have? There's this type of bead. This is sort of a iridescent bead. That's interesting. And what else? I kind of would like a metallic bead, but I don't think I have any gold metallic beads in here. I have just this type of thing. I have hematite, which is nice. I also have this hematite, but the hole might not be big enough. No, the hole's not big enough. And then I have the round amber too, but the hole might also not be big enough. Not really, actually, there we go. It is actually big enough, it's not too bad. I'm not sure I love that, but there's also miracle beads, which are nice. You could just spend all day choosing beads. It's kind of interesting. I'm not sure I'm loving this bead in there, so maybe I'll just put the miracle bead and this one maybe there we go i like i do like the amber beads anyways it's not super important what beads we put on there maybe we put another hematite one but then that kind of slightly clashes i actually really like the hematite maybe better than the yellow so let's do the hematite there's something nice about hematite beads whoa i've got butter fingers today there we go and this one, yeah, I don't know, it's all right. So let's just do a loop at the top. Uh, you just made my day with that email. Oh, fun, there we go. So uh, live wires for the win, uh, themes are out to the participants. Uh, top secret until uh, Monday when you guys can vote uh, on Monday for your favorites. So I'm so happy you like that theme. Yeah, we have, uh, Mimi and I have been having fun choosing the themes each week. I have a whole bunch, actually, I have a whole bunch of leftover themes. So we're going to have to do a season three next year because um, I have all these new other themes that I want to use. So that looks pretty good, guys. Just, I would make this part a little bit to that way, and that might be fixable. Let's see if we can fix that issue. Because uh, if you roll that that way a little bit, try not to break it, and then roll that that way you can actually somewhat adjust this so it's a little bit more centered. This end gets a little bit bashed up because I've already adjusted it a bit, but that's, there's always something you can do to slightly fix your designs. I love that design. That's so cool, very simple. You could, I could have maybe curved out these edges a little bit more. I think I, I would like those to be a little bit more curved and stylized, but there's a lot you can do with this, push that over a bit and it's just I just have to fix up the template a bit and then it'll be a little bit more um centered so I'm gonna do maybe one more like that with the larger wire and then we're gonna be good it's sweet Heather thank you uh contact me uh I have a I have my email that's written in my uh, information for business contacts if you like I just have to find my thing. There we go. Yeah, if you have questions about wire art and jewelry making, you can email me at info at heatherboydwire.com. Uh, and uh, I answer questions about wire, mar wire art and jewelry making. So this is a thicker wire. Oh, and, the, and now the sun's way too out. Let me move this over here. I'm gonna move this over. Sorry guys, because the sun is on my space here. How about that, is that better? I think that's better, Whew, cause that was really bright. So let's do one more hat and we're gonna do it with the bigger wires. So let's try, this is 16 gauge wire. I'm kind of halfway across my table there because I am, um, I have to get out of the sun. So let's do this and Oh, thank you. So Amber just shared the link to the Facebook group. That's the Wire Makers Club. If you would like to join the club to share pictures of your wire art and jewelry, that would be great. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun in that group. So let's go ahead and do this one. I'm gonna slightly follow this pattern uh, now because it's gonna be more proportionate with the thicker wire. So I'm gonna actually bring this one out. So this, this way you can see you know, how I would do it with a template and then just 
bend that one right angle. I didn't even cut it off the roll because I don't know how much I'm going to need and I don't want to waste this 16 gauge wire. This is, I think, 16 gauge from Michael's, I think. So we're going to bring this one over here and around and then here I'm going to just bend it with my finger actually a little bit. I'm going to get these ones here. Uh, info at heatherboydwire.com. Thanks, Amber. So that's my email for uh, business inquiries and inquiries about wire art and jewelry making. So we're going to take this here, around here, and we are going to put this one here and around here. So there we go. That one and that one. And then we're just going to... Follow that shape as best as possible. I'm going to take this one and bend it. I'm going to bring a little more wire out. Bring this one to the back here. Around here. Bend that to the back. And see if I can follow it somewhat here. And we're going to take this one and bend it up. So this one... I'm gonna make sure it's in the right position. We can bring it back to compare it a little bit. And actually this one went up on a little bit of an angle too. So I'm gonna do that. Bend this up on a little bit of an angle and then bring this one like over, maybe a little bit more. So we can almost fix it a little bit. Sorry if my hands went off screen. I'm literally in the middle of my table right now trying to get out of the sun. So we're gonna do that and then bring this one down here that's pretty good and i'm not sure what beads i'm going to find to fit on this wire but there's the idea so we're going to bring that one back here and then i'll do i'll start this twist with the pliers around here and close it up clip it here and click that Pinch that. I'm just trying to think if I want to add beads in another way. You could definitely add beads across there if you liked. And this you could not even bother adding beads. But say you did want to add beads in there. You could get a separate wire. Like I think I'd like to use uh, maybe a 22 gauge wire or something. Let me just see. I could use gold. It doesn't have to be silver. And let me get some beads. You'd want to use maybe smaller beads across there. You can do the you can do the miracle beads if you want, or just the hematite. This is really the hardest part. I always have trouble choosing beads. I never know which ones to choose. So let's just see. No, those don't really show up too well. Maybe red. Maybe red on a cowboy hat. We're gonna see. So we're gonna take these a little bit more. Put these right across and see how it looks. And this is where you can get creative with your beads and your choices. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna, many I'm gonna need, maybe five or six. These are four millimeter miracle beads. You can do different colors if you like. And oh, that's green. There we go, perfect. So those would go here. So that's the idea. You could definitely put, that's interesting. I feel it's a little bit boring with the red, but you can always change up your beads after. So we're gonna put this one on here. And it, it's kind of interesting. Yeah, we could do that. And you could, actually you could even put a bigger bead in the middle if you wanted, but that's the idea. You can put some beads across there and I don't, like I said, I don't love those beads, but I'll put them there for now. And then I can maybe, I might change them after. So we're gonna put those there, bring that one around. And then this one too, we're just gonna take this. Now the sun is blazing on my back right now. Ah, <laughs> that's okay. This is the last thing I'm gonna do because like I said, I have to check off and uh, do that podcast. And I just really wanted to work out the design for this. Um, cowboy hat so there we go so we have this one and then we would want to 
finish it up at the top. So if I'm putting beads down here, I probably wouldn't put beads here. So I'm gonna just take this, bend it that way, and make a loop. And then this I'll I'll put on a keychain. So I'll actually put probably a jump ring and then put it on the keychain. And we're gonna do one loop here, one one wind, and then another wind here. And then I'm going to bend, um, put the back, and good. Perfect, so there we go. And that's it guys, that's it for today. We're just gonna do these hats. I might change the beads on this one and then I'm gonna draw out the template once I perfected it a bit. This one's a little crooked, but that's okay. So I am gonna show you what we made today. We did this guy, let me make sure it's up. Oh, the sun's coming out again. This one and then the super simple one. So I'll put pictures of these in the community section. Whoa, you can't even, I'm off camera. Now, am I on camera? There we go. Over here maybe? Wow, I'm not even sure where the camera is. So there you go, but I'm gonna put a picture in the community section. You're so welcome. Yay, I'm so happy. So there we go, so let me flip the screen. Sorry it was so short today, guys. I just, I have, a gazillion things to do. So that was super fun. Thank you so much. I'll put a picture in the community section so you can actually see the design better. I have to work out a solution for all that sun coming in my window, but uh, that's okay. You guys got an idea of the designs. Uh, thanks so much for hopping on. Uh, thank you also everybody for watching Live Wires for the Wind. Stay tuned. You'll be able to vote for week five on Monday at 11 a.m. Uh, thank you, Amber, so much for moderating the chat and adding the links to the different things. And we will see you guys uh, regular Saturday video and uh, Monday for voting for Live Wires for the Win. So have an amazing rest of the week and we will see you the next time.